Uh, once again, my name is uh, Pastor Kelvin. Uh, the, Lord is, the Lord is good. Allow me to pray. Lord, I just want to thank you for this opportunity to share your word. Lord, indeed, we have been found by grace even at this time, and we continue to say that, Lord, you are awesome. Lord, you are good. And Lord, there is none that can be compared to you. And Lord, even for your word, I pray that your word may be a light to our path and a lamp unto our feet because your word has always been a light oh god father even right now jehovah god i just pray for your grace to be upon us i pray for your holy spirit whom god you send to help us oh god and to reveal things to come we thank you and we bless you in jesus name we pray amen allow me to read a portion of scripture from the book of genesis chapter 6 and from verse 1 to 9 the Bible says, Now it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born to them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men, that they were beautiful, and they took wives for themselves, of all whom they chose. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not strive with man forever, for he is indeed flesh, yet his days shall be 120 years. There were giants on the earth those days and also afterwards when the sons of God came in to the daughters of men and they bore to them children. Those were the mighty men who were of old men of Rion. Then the Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every intent of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And the Lord was sorry that he, made, he had made man on the earth and he was grieved in his heart. So the Lord said, I will destroy man wh whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, creeping thing and birds of the air, for I am sorry that I have made them. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. And in verse nine it says, this is the genealogy of Noah. Noah was a just man, perfect in his generation. Noah walked with God. My theme to us is about found by grace. And in the book of Genesis, we do know that this book entails the creation of God. It entails how man was created as a perfect being. However, in Genesis chapter 6, we see that God declared judgment upon the earth because at that time, the earth was full of violence. The earth was evil. And so in verse 9, the Bible says that Noah, found grace in the sight of the Lord. Number Three things I want to bring out. Number one is this. Noah was a just man. Meaning what? Noah was a righteous man. What is righteousness? Righteousness is not what you do, but righteousness is what Jesus did on the cross. The Bible says, he made him who knew no sin to become sin for us that we might be made the righteousness of God. So Jesus became sin for us his nature as a human being when he was here on earth he incubated our sin and so here Noah was a just man meaning that he was a righteous man and number two he was a perfect man in his generation meaning what that he was not only perfect in the essence of him being him being a righteous man in terms of prayer, in terms of devotion. It shows me this, that Noah reverenced God. He reverenced God in the essence of that, yes, I am righteous. However, my righteousness is not enough. I have to develop that relationship. And so here, saying he was perfect in his generation, it is that Noah stood out. He stood out. You see, when Jesus becomes your righteousness, when Jesus is the great vine, you are the branch. Meaning this, it is the root that determines the nature of the fruit. And so here, Noah being a righteous man, he stood out in his generation. That's how God was able to recognize in as much as this generation is evil, in as much as this generation is lost, there's still a man. Who is righteous there's still a man who stands out before me and because of his righteousness because he stands out before me that's how god was able to tell him build an ark the last point is this which is very very intriguing to me 
we see that yes Noah was a righteous man we see that yes Noah was a perfect man but there's another thing the Bible says in verse 9 Noah walked with God we do know that in the in the genealogy of Adam in Genesis chapter 5 there was a man who was attributed to be walking with God he walked with God to the point he was no more and the Bible says he walked with God for 300 years until he was no more by the name of Enoch but again in the context of Noah the Bible says that he walked with God meaning that he was in constant fellowship with God in as much as God is a spiritual being he was also physical he could appear to men and so Noah was righteous Noah was perfect Noah walked with God meaning what it is the righteousness of God that will make you to stand out it is the righteousness of God that he did on the cross of Calvary that will make you to walk with him. How I pray that in this season, you may be walking with God. How I pray that in this season, you're not only praying, but you're also walking with God. Prayer is not enough. Because spending time with God, believe you me, when this season is over, we will be able to know by the fruits that you bear that how have you been walking with God in your secret place? In Psalms chapter 91 verse 1, the Bible says that he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And I will say of the Lord that he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. We will only know that you have been walking with God as long as you have been spending time with God. Remember those three things. Noah, was righteous Noah was perfect Noah walked with God that was in the that was in the Old Testament but now in the New Testament number one we've been made to become righteous now by the fact that our nature has been changed by Christ we will stand out if we choose to stand out and once we make that choice to stand out being found by grace we will be able to walk with God so how I pray remember this that you have been found by grace Lord I thank you and I bless you because God you are good God you are awesome there is none like you Lord your grace cannot be compared because it is your grace that sustains us it is your grace that enables us oh God even in this time Jehovah God just to know that we have been saved by grace through faith not of our own but a gift that came from you we bless you and we honor you in Jesus name we pray God bless you and shalom, peace and life to you. Amen.